Well, good afternoon, everybody. Keith here. Hoping everybody's having a good day, enjoying life, living life, loving life. Been a few since I've done an actual live video, so I hope everybody's paying attention and catching it. Those that are um, watching, please be sure to share. Um, we're going to do a quick little video on Admiralty Islands. And Admiralty Island is land. And we're just going to hang out a minute or two to see if we can get some people on. I know it's Friday afternoon and not a lot of people around right now. we got some nice weather out around here, so a lot of people are out busy doing things. So even if you don't catch it at the, the live time, I hope people are going to watch this. So those that are watching live, please share. Because uh, I've been talking a lot of time about... Um, not being afraid of uh, the Admiralty Courts. And so today I wanted to uh, go over the Admiralty Islands. And people aren't familiar with what an Admiralty is. And it actually has to deal with land. And you've heard me talk about the uh, law of land warfare and the Libra Code and uh, the special maritime jurisdiction and territorial overlays and all of that stuff. But we're going to take a look at uh, what an Admiralty Island is now. So let me turn my camera view around. And what I've got up before us, hopefully I can get this set up somehow. Here we go. Okay, and this is an Admiralty Island. Of course, this is Wikipedia. Most people don't think it's a very solid source, but what happens is it's public domain, so anything that's not correct, anything you think is not correct, you can question and, and source it, and if you find it wrong, then you can fix it. So, for the most part, most of the information you're going to find on Wikipedia is generally true and factual. Um, let's start out with the Admiralty Islands are an archipelago, an archipelago sometimes called an island group or island chain is a chain, cluster, or collection of islands. Group of 18 islands in the Bismarck Archipelago. And we see it's down here, it says, shows us on the map of Pap Papua New Guinea. The Admiralty Islands are in the dark red area at the top of the map. That's these up here. It's just a bunch of islands up here. And the definition goes on to say, to the north of New Guinea in the South Pacific Ocean, these are also sometimes, sometimes called the Manus Islands. Um... We are looking for, I was hoping, they, there it is. Many of the Admiralty Islands are atolls. So let's look at an atoll. What is a toll? You know, when you go across that bridge and you have to pay a toll. Oh, oh my. What is a toll? A toll. Sometimes known as a coral atoll, is a ring-shaped coral reef, including a coral rim that encircles a lagoon partially or completely. There may be coral islands or caves on the rim. What is a K? A K, also spelled K-A-Y-E or K-E-Y. is a small, low-elevation, sandy island on the surface of a coral reef. Caves occur in the tropical environments throughout the Pacific, Atlantic, and Indian Oceans, including the Caribbean and the Great Barrier Reef and Belize Barrier Reef. So now you know what an atoll is. It's a key. A K. What's a key? In 
Isaiah 22, 22 of the King James Version of the Bible, we see that the key of the house of David I will lay on his shoulder. So he shall open and no one shall shut. And he shall shut and no one shall open. And under the postal terms, we see key. And look what that says, folks. It says to press numbered keys. Or other identifiers on a device that represents sortation information. One forty nine, excuse me, Title Nineteen of the Code of Federal Regulations, one forty nine point three, talks about data elements that would be that sortation information and in there we see that sellers have a widely recognized commercially accepted identification number for this party which may be provided in lieu of the name and address the name and address are those other identifiers we can give a number same with a buyer he too can give a widely recognized number commercially accepted identification number for this party in lieu of the identifiers known as name and address. The consignee, or excuse me, the uh, ship to party can also provide a widely recognized commercially accepted identification number in lieu of the name and address, the other identifiers. The country of origin, country of manufacture, production, or growth of an article. Article is much different than a mail. This is a private article and we can assign our own number in lieu of a name and address just like any other manufacturer. We, could, we would be wise to use the commercially recognized identification number by shutting it and no one shall open it and using our own which, which shuts the uh, name account down and we open a new account in our number, our new number, showing a primary account that is now opened and the minor account shall never be opened again because he has shut it and no one shall shut the primary account. It tells us how to do this and it's uniform throughout the jurisdictions if you find the keys. Admiralty is land. I'm telling you, everything's different. Admiralty is land, and they have no right to charge a toll. And you have the keys. If you know where they're at, and what they are. The key of the house of David. I will lay on your shoulder. The shoulders. The shoulder of an atoll. They shoulder what is told. This is different than an island. The key of the house of David is the key of the house of love. I will lay on his shoulder. So you shall open that love and no one shall shut it. 
and you can shut the deceit of the person, and no one shall open it. For he is a respecter of no persons. And so to impress that, express that, express the trust, we need to press the numbered keys or other identifiers. We have to quit allowing them to be the put the identifiers on the record. We have to shut those identifiers down and open up new identifiers showing where the true source of all love comes from. Their commercial system depends on love. It operates in the uh, operations of war to maintain peace and love. So it has the same intent. And everybody has use of a widely recognized, commercially accepted, telling us it's already accepted. We just need to return it for its value. Return the name. Shut it down. And no one can open it up in that name again. Now you can open a new account in a number and attach it to a name in private. And no one shall shut it. Admiralty, a toll, gives you the keys. I hope everybody comprehends this, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, in the meantime, what do you got, folks? It's good to see everybody again. Corby, I did see your message. As um, soon as I get done here, I'll give you, um, we'll do a private Zoom or a private messenger. So give me maybe five, ten minutes if you're available, brother. Otherwise, if you got questions, feel free to ask. Um, hoping everybody's having a good day, enjoying life, living life, loving life. Um, I'm glad to see everybody joining me today. I didn't expect this many people to be coming. Like I said earlier in the video, it's, uh, it's a nice day out, good weather, and people are probably busy enjoying it. And it's obviously noontime, so I didn't expect too many viewers. So I thank everybody for joining. Um, <coughs> I don't know if you've got any questions or anything at, at the moment, but I'm willing to um, let you pose them, and I can come back with answers in the comments. Or if you got something right now, go ahead and post it. In the meantime, remember I love everybody. I'm going to post my PayPal link. I hope everybody can share some love. I'm going to post my other links. If you can't share some love, um, at least be sure to share the other links, the, the uh, information and the videos in them, so we can all share in that wealth. Because I assure you, um, I'm going to keep putting it out, and I'm going to keep trying to clarify things for everybody so you can make use of it freely. So, if nobody's got any questions... Um, yes, that's the Sedeke V Trust. Um, I've even located the trust within the Social Security uh, um, Act. Everybody uh, got a pen and paper? If you've got it, uh, pen and paper real quick, write it down. I'll put it in the comments section when I'm done. Um, Mark Trust Inc. And I'll, 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 uh, grammar, gra I'll, put, I'll place the grammar on it. It's Mark, M-A-R-C all capital letters, capital T, R U S T, comma, I, capital I, N C, period. Mark Trust, comma, Inc. In the Social Security Act, and that we have all kinds of uh, security agreements, uh, SEC filings and stuff that I'm researching. But that's listed in the Social Security Act itself, and so that's the one, at least one of the trusts that they're operating on. Um, and it's all based on information through what they are involved with in the Hatha Trust. Now the Hatha Trust, we'll talk about it at some time as well, that's a public information trust. They're using the Library of Congress and all of these... Um, 
law universities around the world as part of the public information trust through the Library of Congress. And all you have to do is adopt their mission statement. It's funny. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. In the meantime, yes, I, I've heard about the Seta KV Trust, and uh, that is not the same as the Seta K. The Seta K is the live beneficiary. Um, the Seta KV is the trust in in operation, and the only way it's actually in operation is if you actually accept. So we'll talk about this some other time as well. Um, but today I just wanted to show you. Um, the language and how you find keys. I think it's pretty simple. Like I said, uh, I think the key thing here is to uh, shed off that name. All of it. All of it. The entire last name, middle name, first name. The entire name. We're, we're told not to uh, um, take upon the uh, name of an earthly father for there is but one father which art in heaven. And yet we don't know that name. So... I call everybody brothers and sisters. I call everybody neighbors. I call everybody strangers. Um, the land shall not be sold forever, for ye are, are for it is mine, and ye are strangers and sojourners with me. So you are strangers, you are sojourners, and I'm supposed to welcome you to my door. I'm supposed to give you shelter. I'm supposed to give you a bed. I'm supposed to give you all of these things that I expect the same freely. And that's what it's about is the key is free. It's just being able to know how it operates. It's the process. Well, if you got it free, then the process of giving it is also free. Everything's backwards, folks. When we think of a tax, most people think that the definition of a tax is that they're taking something from you. When in fact the tax... The term tax is originated from the word, word tithe, which means to give. And though it was, um, it has a declination of a monetary or a numerical enumeration of some sort, it was called 10% of what you had, your assets, 10% of your assets. And today they use the commercial system as a representation of assets. And that's it. But it's actually supposed to be a giving. So if you have nothing to give, and they can't actually accept because they're bankrupt. They can't accept assets. All they can do is ac accept a fixing of the record, which decreases the debt. The republic can't come back until we get rid of the democracy. The democracy is getting rid of the 49% the being able to get rid of the other 51%, which is the entirety of the debt. And we don't get rid of the people. We get rid of the persons by shutting down the name and opening up that number. Anybody that doesn't understand that, I'll, I'm going to be um, explaining it as it goes on. If, if you've noticed, I've done three Zoom class or Zoom sessions. I don't like calling them classes. Zoom sessions where we all research together and we went over the first three classes, the Constitution of the Universal Postal Union. And that's where we found out the uh, simplicities of contracting and how the international trust operates through the Swiss Confederation as the government, the Congress, or a Congress, a government. And we have the right to operate or conduct our own affairs in the same status, capacity, standing, whatever you want to call it, the equal station in life. The difference is they do it in a military fashion. We're supposed to do it in a, a peaceful fashion. To receive equity, one must first come with equity. And equity is peace. So if you want peace, you can't come in war. You have to clarify you're in peace. And they have a stipulation that they can't imprison somebody that's not a prisoner of war. And that means a chaplain, um, hospital staff, nursing, nurses, doctors, um, educators, particularly women, um, specifying arts and, and uh, education, things like that. And that's why I urge people to read the uh, mission statement of the half a trust. And again, I said, like I said, I'll be going over that uh, later. But realize that tax is not really a taking, it's a giving. And at the same time, a remittance is not a, 
uh, a giving, whereas most people think you remit something, you give it back. <laughs> no, now you're taking something back that they took to begin with by reversing the language. Everything's backwards. So again, if you don't understand this Admiralty stuff and how I showed you the key there, feel free to ask questions. Um, what did I say I was going to post in the uh, comment section? Oh well, I'll watch the video and post it. Anyway, um, again, like I said, I'll post the PayPal link and my other links. Hit that share button. Um, hopefully you'll hit the share button on the PayPal and send me some love. But in the meantime, remember, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be doing this. So God bless. I love you. Good to see everybody again. I'll see you again next time.